guys, my name is Sergey. I'm a freediving instructor trainer and on this channel as always I'm sharing with all of you guys everything what I know about freediving. And today is going to be a refresher, it's going to be a reminder how to do a three section breathing. Why we do this type of training? Because it helps us to learn how to inhale uh, fully, how to inhale as much air as possible but in the same time be relaxed. So how are we going to start? We're going to start with putting uh, one of our arm on our chest and one on our belly. And for the next, uh, let's say, 30 seconds, you're going to breathe using only your belly muscles, right? So let's start. Okay, this was step number one. As you can see, my belly was moving, but my chest was completely flat. Breathing through your mouth or through your nose, it's up to you. I was breathing through my nose. So step number two, uh, same our position, uh, but now my belly is going to be flat and it's not moving, but my upper chest is going to be moving. Uh, same, I'm going to breathe through my nose and it's going to be about 30 seconds. Okay, step number three is going to be middle section. I'm going to grab my chest like this with my fingers. When I fully exhale, my fingers is going to touch each other. When I'm going to inhale, my fingers is going to move apart. So I grab my chest, full exhale. Now I'm going to breathe through my mouth. So guys, when you do this uh, three section breathing, uh, obviously you're still using your lungs, right? Doesn't matter what uh, kind of breathing you do, it's still your lungs which is bringing air in and out. But what is expanding your thoracic cavity is can be different. So in case when you do a belly breathing, it's mainly your diaphragm. In case when you do a middle chest section, it's more your intercostal muscles. And when you do upper section, uh, then there is also small muscles which can be involved and we want to develop all these muscles because when we do full breathe in we want to expand our chest and it means expand our lungs as much as possible okay one more tip uh, when you do this uh, three section breathing try to be completely relaxed uh, if it is a belly breathing then uh, okay the muscles from your belly is moving but everything else should be relaxed. Your face is always relaxed, your shoulders is relaxed, your legs is relaxed, your neck is relaxed, everything. Same with the next section. You do a middle section, make sure that every else, uh, everything else is relaxed and upper section the same. And now we're gonna finish this exercise with a combination of all of these three. So I'm gonna start my breathing from my belly, then I'm gonna add my middle chest and then upper chest. Okay, so start with the belly. When you make a your full inhale, hold this position for about five seconds but and try to make sure that everything is relaxed. Again, this is a pretty common mistake from the beginners. When they do full inhale, they get tense and they stay tense during the beginning of the breath hold. We don't want to do this, right? One more time, start with the belly. And exhale. And one more time. Again, start with the belly.
and exhale. Okay guys, how long practice this exercise? I do recommend to start from the small time, uh, maybe it's going to be 30 seconds uh, for each section, 30 seconds for belly breathing, 30 seconds upper chest, 30 seconds middle chest, and then maybe 3 to 5 times full inhale this relaxation. And then you can slowly increase it 15 minutes each time, 15 seconds each time. And then sooner or later, I'm gonna reach like three minutes for each section. I think it's a solid number for this exercise. So in this case, the total time, overall time is gonna be about 10 minutes, which in my opinion is a good solid number for this type of training. Okay guys, hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was helpful, don't forget to click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I do recommend you to do it right now. And I will see you tomorrow.